Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's time to speak with David Seraph about where our augments come from. They have some news for us. Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vid call number? I looked into facility 451. It was a processing clinic. One of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. And? And I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. So, perhaps they took us somewhere else then. And we just thought we went there. Why are you so sure I didn't get these augs in Alaska? Orloff was there. I spoke with him. You said he was using an alias, McFadden. I looked into it. Casper McFadden didn't exist until the day you regained consciousness, which was one month before you escaped the facility. Okay, so where was Orlov? Not in Alaska. He was with Tai Young Medical for a while, and in the spring of 2028, his name pops up once or twice in the Baltic region. Then he dropped off the grid, and McFadden shows up. So what does that prove? Orlov is McFadden, and McFadden is Orlov. None of it connects him to me. Except for the AUGs which Orloff designed and nobody else knows how to install, let alone make compatible with a competing system. Are you suggesting all my AUGs are new? Even the ones you gave me? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm telling you all the AUGs we ever installed had registry codes, and they're not hard to trace. I know my AUGs, Seraph. It took two years for my body to get used to them, to unlock all their potential. Two years. Really, Adam? One of which you don't remember because you were allegedly in a coma in Alaska. Look, son, all I'm saying is it wouldn't have been hard to identify you, but for some reason, that never happened. I found a set of Orlov schematics in a secret military facility in the Swiss Alps. The mercs there had the same augments as me. Do you think I could have been there? A secret military base in Switzerland? It's kind of far from the Arctic, but... But what? When Panchea collapsed, the original search and rescue mission was reclassified as a recovery operation after seven days. Meaning they weren't expecting to find any more survivors. A few days after that, a unit of soldiers who were never publicly identified intervened. I think that's who found you. They pull me out of the ocean, take me somewhere. And a year later, Orlov and I show up in Alaska. Maybe. Listen, son, there's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. I've gone as far as I can take you. Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it means. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Seraph. So, do we still have the side quest? We don't. Maybe it'll pop up later. Alright. Uh, we've got to go back to the other district. Okay, I'm in the other district. So we're back on the main quest. We need to head over to the theater in the Diwali territory, since we know that Marchenko is in bed with the Diwali. So I need to find a way in there. I could just go through the front door, of course, but I think I would rather go through the apartments. So if I remember right, behind the Irish stool back here, there was a way into the apartments from there. Even though it doesn't really look like it on the map, I'm pretty certain that it did actually take me to the apartments. So let's go that way. I'm so low on bio cells. One left. Let's 
see how thick the presence is around the red light district. Um, pretty thick. I see three people and a turret. You shouldn't be outside tonight, Adam. Prague is no longer safe. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I'm looking at a police barricade right now. They will not let you pass. But I can help with that. I suggest you take cover. Oh. Eliza, what do you have uh, in mind? Okay. So. Now is your chance to get past them. Be careful, Adam. I do not want to lose you again. Jensen, are you still alive out there? Yeah, just made it to the red light district. Any luck with that search warrant? State police aren't even taking my calls. I'm afraid you're on your own this time. Story of my life. But I got it, don't worry. Miller, Duvalli owned most of the apartments surrounding the old theater, isn't that right? Yeah, and they're very possessive of them. So if you're thinking of getting in that way, I... It's gone a little further than just thinking. Then expect it to zip straight past peaceful negotiation the minute they see you. That's fine. <laughs> no worries about that. Um, well, thank you for trying to help, Eliza, but I'm not actually sure how this helps me. Now they're all searching, and that's directly where I need to go. So, yeah. And it really doesn't seem to help me at all. A sort of like dramatic music when you're in trouble is so cool. Wait a second. I'm like 100% certain that last time I was here, there was one of those lift things. Now it's not. I don't think I needed to get up there, but still. Strange. Maybe I'll use one of these. Yeah, I went into this room and then I instantly backed away. Because I realized this was taking me into Diwali, ter Diwali territory. But yeah, this is definitely Diwali Apartments. Cool. Well, before I even get to the theater, I think I'm going to check out every single room in here. This is so fancy. Why are those oranges so lumpy? You know, there's actually a tessellation setting that I have off in this game. Because I'm running it on kind of medium low settings. I wonder if I turn tessellation on if you get perfectly orpular oranges. I want tessellated oranges. Three people around me. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Granted. Having Redditch's ear won't save you. I do not care if your cousin was the fucking Tsar. 
In this family, we do not rely on who knows who, but rather what you have done. You need to earn. If you're going to work my crew, you are going to work my way. If you go off on your own like that again, I will fucking end you. So, three floors. Although I don't think the bottom one has any apartments. Looks like there's a laundry down there. Come on, I want to throw something. Ah. No, I don't want to use the coffee machine. I don't want to use the kettle. There's so few things you can actually grab in this game. Trash can? Ah, whatever, they're long gone. My boots are falling apart from walking so much. Don't get too comfortable. Uh oh. Someone's looking. Hmm. Who keeps leaving their fox sex lying around? I actually kinda want them to see me a little bit. I want them to become suspicious. Someone's here. There we go, then they'll come in here. Yes, investigate. Uh-oh. I think someone else just saw me. They did, but we're fine. Go over there. Over there. <laughs> Thank you. Come on in! The house wants you. Wee! <laughs> Actually worked out pretty well. Who's seeing me? Oh, it's them down there, isn't it? Where is that cold draft coming from? I guess I'll check out all the apartments on this floor to begin. Uh, wait, actually, they're gonna they're gonna see me if I'm like this, right? Yeah, they might see me. I should take them all out before I loot the place. Dang it, I wanted to break the TV with them. They're so stiff. I don't think we need to worry about people too much anymore. Let's see, is there anybody else around here? No, I think that actually might be everybody. There could be someone I'm missing on the third floor, though. And, oh, I'm about to use my last bio cell. Maybe I should save it. Yeah, I should probably save it for a more important time. Speaking of, how many Praxis do I have? I've got three. Let's actually go ahead and make it so that I recharge... Uh, well, not recharge faster, but I'm going to make it so that the delay till I start recharging is slower. Or... 
faster? I'm not sure how to, how to <laughs> I'm not sure how to say that, but uh, make the delay shorter. Should I get another one too? Nah, just one's fine. Oh, that actually gave me max power by doing that. Cool. personal little gym. End event. Probably just gonna take me to an apartment though. Let's actually see where that goes. Oh yeah, just back out to the courtyard. Okay, let's go up. Where's the mechanism to open that, I wonder? Maybe it's if you use the sink. Ah. Oh. I think? I think this Charnabog, or Chernabog fuck, is either Radich or Otar. You ever think maybe there's no real tension between the two of them? Like maybe this is all some big act. Some long fucking con they're pulling. That would be insane shit. Oh, wait a second. You ever even seen them both in the same room? What if there were only one person? You got anything to drink? I'm pretty thirsty. You should come over. How high are you right now? <laughs> Well, it's not Radich or Otar, it's Vince Black. Gas grenade launcher. Ooh. So maybe I could use the grenade launcher because gas grenades would be non lethal. Interesting thought. Oh, holy shit. Don't have to fight that thing. What can I. Can I move this damn fridge? It's stuck in here. 
Wait a sec. What the fuck? Trying to dissolve bodies. Ugh. That's from Radich. Got a job for you. Take who you need and go see Nomad Stanek. Start at his shop. Close it for him. Permanently. Then go to his house. If he's not there, make sure the next time he comes home is his last. And that you'll know why. So the Diwali were the ones behind taking out Nomad Stanek. Or, well, trying to take them out anyway. That's where it just came from. Uh, okay, next floor. Yeah, there's nobody on this level. What's this? As an advertisement for Palisade Bank. Completely silent. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Instant messaging. Save. Oracle and Abram. Jesus, I can see why the Clanks love this neon shit so much. You took some? Wow. Don't go broadcasting it to anyone else, yeah? I saw my cousin last night. Had a really nice conversation with him. Stefan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stefan is dead. Six years, I know. He looks great. <laughs> if it gets back to Otar that you're using, you'll be strung up. I don't answer to Otar. I'm not one of his casino boys. Otar is still number two around here, you gotta respect that. It's okay to sling this shit, but not okay to enjoy it for from time to, uh, for time to, for time to time? Should be from time to time. We can't pollute ourselves with drugs like the Clanks do. It's the old way, Erikel. Otar and his fucking traditionalist bullshit. I'm new school. Radich is new school. He's taking the organization in the right direction. What side are you on? I don't take sides. I find you live longer when you don't pick. Yeah, I wonder if the divide between Otar and, and Radich is going to come up again. Access granted. Ooh. Nice balcony. Can use that to get to the rest of this place. Borderline Magazine. Featured in this month's issue, exclusives, cross-border cogs, we examine the rise of human smuggling in the face of UN legislation controlling the movement of enhanced individuals. What are the effects of illegal AUG immigrants and how do we stop them? Tight along the 49th, in rhetoric recalling the pre... Uh, 
Roosevelt years, Canada threatens to dust off the Paulson program and once again fortify their border with the US. Checkpoint Prague, we spend a day with one of the city's finest. <laughs> finest, sure. Op-ed, is it wrong to tag and track Augs if our safety is at risk? Take him down or take him out? Steiner Bisley's Zenith Zap versus the Hurricane Machine Pistol by Stasek Arms. Plus many more illuminating articles. Yeah, sure. Oh, whoa. Person's got like a sound studio. Although they don't seem to have any recording equipment. Which is a little bit odd, but they have all this foam, which is good for stopping a um, reverb when you're trying to record. I guess it could also just be for listening, I suppose. Granted. I killed one of the girls last night. I drank too much and brought one of them home from the addition. Not the cream, don't worry. Just one of the ones Radich would have sent to his porno friends in Moscow. We were having a good time. A real good time. But then I don't know what happened. I guess I drank too much. I couldn't get it up. This robot bitch started fucking laughing. Laughing at me. Saying if I was crippled, I could get augmented like her. Imagine that shit. She would not fucking stop, so I made her stop. I didn't mean for it to go so wrong, I just wanted her to stop laughing at me. Place is clean, I fixed it up this morning. No sign of her. I don't think anyone saw us sleeve together, but she might be missed. I don't know. I would want something like this to come to Radich's attention. What should I do? What a piece of shit. Oh yeah, the balcony. Oh, well, let's go there in a second. I think we have one more building. next three decades, a new Russia. In the short time since the Og incident, the Russian Federated States have conglomerated into a formidable geopolitical entity. Trade pact overtures extended by them to the struggling European Union have been accepted, and their influence can also be seen in South and Central America. But can what many have described as nothing more than a blatant kleptocracy not only survive but flourish in the next 30 years? While having already shown some influence in parts of Eastern Europe, we anticipate, given the continuing struggles of the United States and the show's social and cultural aftershocks stemming from the Og incident, that the RFS will continue to make inroads in the Americas, mostly fueled by the drug trade. Mexico has already shown itself to be friendly to the burgeoning federation. This likely means an increase in US-Russo antagonism in the near future at a time when the US can hardly afford it. Looks like that's it for this place. Yes, yeah, so that's the whole thing. Let's go take a look at the balcony. They, um, they really didn't think these chairs out here through, did they? <laughs> this furniture is going to get so mildewy and disgusting. So that's a theater I need to get inside of. Beautiful from the outside. Oh. Probably a roof access then if there's snipers on the roof. Alright, well, I think I'm going to save the theater for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.